welcome to Bree's Desserts YouTube channel. My name is Bree, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a no bake strawberry crunch topping. This topping could be used on cupcakes, cake pops, chocolate covered strawberries, literally anything, and it's super easy to make. So let's get started. <laughs> We are going to need one stick of butter, one box of strawberry jello mix. It doesn't have to be from the brand Jello, it could be the store brand or knockoff brand. As long as it's strawberry jello mix, it will work. Then we're going to need parchment paper. Here I have some cookie baking sheets. We're going to use golden Oreos today. You can use any vanilla sandwich cookie. You can also use Nilla's. For this recipe, I use melted butter, so I'm going to put this in the microwave for 30 second intervals just until it is melted, and then I'm going to set it aside. So I put my Oreos into my food processor just so that it's easier to grind them up. If you don't have a food processor, you can put them into a Ziploc bag and hit it with a rolling pin, whatever works as long as you grind them up. Here I have my Oreo crumble. I like mine to be pretty fine and grinded down. If you like a chunkier crumble, don't crumble it as much. Kind of as you go, see what kind of consistency you want for your crumble. Now that I got my crumble, grab a container. I am going to add my Oreo crumbs into the bowl just like that. Now I am going to add my butter into this mixture. Here I have my melted butter and I am going to just pour half of that in. First, do half and see what you kind of want for your mix, for your crumble rather. So now you're going to want to add your jello mix into the mixture, you're kind of just eyeballing to see what you kind of like. Um, so I'm pouring a little bit, just like that. And you mix it up and see if you want more. The more strawberry jello mix you add, the more pink it will be and the more strawberry flavor it will have. So keep that in mind. So when you're making this, you kind of just want to keep an eye on it to see what kind of consistency you want for your crumble. I will leave exact measurements down below so you guys know exactly how much of each ingredient you need. Just gonna mix that really well. Now you're gonna add your strawberry crunch topping onto a baking sheet with a line of parchment paper. And you're going to kind of just spread the strawberry crunch topping around the baking sheet to where you have a nice thin layer of topping. So now that we have it all lined out on our baking sheet, you're going to want to put this to the side for 30 minutes to an hour. You're going to let it dry and after that it will be ready to use. Once it's dried, it will look like this. If you do have extra, you can store it in a plastic container and or a ziploc bag and store it in a cool area and or the fridge whatever you prefer so i wanted to show you guys how to make this delicious strawberry crunch topping for all your treats at home it is delicious super easy to make and budget friendly and honestly you can't ask for anything better than that i've tried other recipes and honestly this one to me is the best one out there that's just between you and me. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We hope you guys love this recipe as much as we do. And if you have any questions or anything, leave a comment down below and we will get to ya. I'm gonna leave all my social media accounts right here. Make sure to check us out. Give us some love. And um, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>